fuck talking about the growth. I can see the growth, you know what I mean? I'm back in this bitch, what's good? Let's get this understood, bitch, I wish a bitch would. Yeah, yeah, huh? Bitch, you know the vibes. Please don't blow my high. I hate a bitch that lie. Yeah, yeah you ho. These hoes be in disguise. Get the fuck up out my face, cause I ain't got no time. If it ain't about the cake or if it ain't about a dime. Okay. Hey, Jay. We're almost in 2024. What are you most excited about for the new year? And what was the biggest high you experienced in 2023? Okay, so let's just talk about 2023. I feel like the biggest high in 2023 was honestly being accepted in this honor society. That was a big high. Like it was like a, a pet, like even though I'm taking online classes, it just really feel good to still be recognized for the good that you are doing while trying to manage, you know, school on your time and you're acing the shit. So I, that was a really big high for me. And so what do I look for for 2024? Like what's, what's excited? Was that the question? What am I excited about for the year to come is honestly finishing up school. Like, I didn't think that, I graduated in 2012. I started school last year. So I didn't think like all those years will pass and I'll be back trying to get a degree. And I'm really, 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 really looking forward to that. Honestly, in my business that I want to relaunch. And so, yes. This person said they got a few questions. Hey Jay, missed you, few questions. How's Padre and family? I already spoke about my Padre, but we'll talk about my family. How are Pixie and your son? <laughs> I don't remember his name. How was your trip to Italy? What are you in school for? Just a few questions, so glad that you're back. All right, so we already talked about school. Um, Italy gave what it's supposed to have give. <laughs> Italy gave what it's supposed to have gave.
What are you doing? I don't know how to spin. Come on. Oh, it looks like it's moving. Oh, yeah. We turn up, come down. Oh, wow. Like, oh. I see it. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. You looking? I am looking. Okay, I'm back flat. Oh no, it's spinning again. It's spinning again. I do feel like we um. Going up and down. Like we doing this. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Look, we all doing it in the line. Look, you see all, all the other train babies behind me? You see them? Oh, you it's <laughs> all the other dream days behind me. <laughs> yes. I see it. We see it. All the dream days behind you, girl. It's a lot of vibes in this room, though. Me. Trina. <laughs> <laughs>
No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bellissimo. Oh, oh, baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Two more. Now go to the view. definitely enjoyed myself I enjoyed the time that I spent um, there 
with the people, the food, like it was a it was a very great experience and I really enjoyed myself. My family, my family is, you know, it's family. Family be family and just like life be life in y'all. What else can I say? The sun is going down, so it look like the lightning is changing up a little bit. If I need to turn on a light, I will. How is Pixie and my son? I don't want to say his name because right now he's in trouble. But Pixie is is getting older. Every wag that she wags, it's like another gray hair just pops out of nowhere. But they're doing good. Last time I really watched a video, you were living with your dad. So do you still live with him? Are you still self-employed? I think you were door dashing at some point. I don't remember door dashing. I remember doing like Instacart, uh, Amazon Flex. I might have like Uber, but when I was Ubering, I was not doing YouTube and I only Ubered like three people around the city. But I don't think I ever did door dash. That wasn't me. But uh, am I still self-employed? like a no and a yes because am i actively selling my merch no but do i have merch to sell absolutely can i go make me a hoodie right now put that bitch on the internet and sell it come on now big period so yeah do you still live in north carolina i do what are some challenges that you've overcame since within the last year that's a really good question i'll say a challenge that i've overcame is being doubtful not believing in myself not taking care of myself as i should i feel like this year has made me learn me more accept the things that i want first of all recognize the things that i want and what i'm not getting accepting the fact that i'm not getting it so it's got to be a change to get what i want and you know not being doubtful like knowing that you know i'm gonna be okay and i'm gonna you know, make shit shake, make shit happen. So yeah, that was a good question. Welcome back. Have you grown or evolved since taking a break? Absolutely. I, I feel like the break was much needed. I also felt like I wanted to come back on here and just give something different. Like I still might be doing the same things like working out, cooking, you know, the Q&A videos, the little um, YouTube games. But as far as like my mental, it's not the same at all. I feel like it's getting dark. Is it getting dark? Can y'all still see me? I feel like this video is dark. Maybe you guys like this setting. What I love about YouTube, y'all, because I've been on this platform for so long, I get to see my growth. Like, fuck talking about the growth. I can see the growth, you know what I mean? And I feel like that's, that's really what keeps me here and what keeps me coming back because it's like damn three years ago four years ago five years ago like girl you was not this person you was not this woman right so glad you are back did you make some new friends i did i did and it's i always make friends from my job and i really don't go into my job looking to make any friends but i feel like i'm around adults people that are my age older than me and you know when you see them every day especially when you when you are just sitting down and you're just in each other's space like for sure what are some sacrifices you had to make in order to have this glow you look so happy hmm i had to oh lord i had to sacrifice a job i had to sacrifice some friendships it's getting dark hold on i gotta get a light in here or something I really don't feel like getting that ring light. And that's just that's just to name a few things. But what app or program do I use to make my intro? I actually did not even make my intro. I found this girl off of TikTok and she made my intro. So, you know, just reach out to your followers. If you have a platform and people are following you, just reach out. Like a closed mouth don't get fed. So, you know, it's nothing but just to ask. Would you do a meet and greet or a dinner? I've actually done a meet and greet before. I would definitely do it again. Um, a dinner, I would do a dinner, but I feel like that's so random. Like me sitting at a, like do I get a big table or a small table? You know what I mean? But yeah, I would do both. <laughs> this person said, how is your mental health? I feel like I spoke on that, but they also said, and can you give us any insight on what your ideas are for your new merch? Also, when will you be done with school so we can send you gifts for graduation? Let me first say that I didn't even think that 
you know, that would be something that you guys or you particularly, but you know, other people as well might be interested in sending graduation gifts. But I'm, I'm not, I don't even know why I didn't think of that because you guys definitely helped with my housewarming gifts. I would definitely drop them dates, but for right now, it's looking like the end of 2024. And so, insights on my new merch. Honestly, you guys, I want my merch for right now. I can't talk about everything, but the one thing that I will say that you are familiar with are my hoodies and my sweatsuits. I definitely still want to cater to this winter weather because it ain't nothing like throwing on a sweatsuit. Like, for real. It's good for the fall. It's good for, it's good for the winter. Like, it can even be you know like a summer night and you can just throw on the pants or you can throw on the hoodie like it be cold in the house you might go on a vacation you might airport like it's, it's a good airport fit it's a good just like wherever you want to go no matter the weather like a sweatsuit is always good in my books like that's just what that is like i can be going to somebody's house and it be cold let me grab my sweatsuit you know what i mean i can be going through the airport and i'm going to somewhere that it might be cold or hell the airport and the plane might be cold let me put on my sweatsuit because you can always take your hoodie off wrap it around your waist and have on your tank top with your sweatpants and your toes out insight on it i'm looking to just like really wow you i'm looking more for color themes that like go good together for the multi-color things and that's all i'ma say I didn't tell you much and that's good just wait and see what is something you have been wanting to do but keep procrastinating youtube was one of them picking back up my camera was a big procrastination it's like okay i think i'm ready i think i'm ready i think i'm gonna do it and i just never like really just did it this lightning is terrible but y'all do not feel like going to get that that ring light so this question, it was like three questions in one. I've already spoken on two of them. So the last one was, do I miss living with my dad? To a certain extent, I do miss living with my dad. But then when I wake up in the morning, y'all, I like to wake up in my skin, okay? And I like to be ratchet, although I was ratchet over there. But I like to, you know, blast music, singing in the shower with nobody here, you know, I like living on my own. I do miss living with him because most of the time I would never have to worry about cooking. I ain't have to worry about going to the ABC store. I mean, I will go to the ABC store, but I won't have to worry about going to the ABC store. I would just like replace whatever I drunk there. But, uh, yeah, I do and then I don't. You know what I mean? It wasn't like a terrible place or a terrible time when I was living with him, but it's nothing like having your own. So, this person said, first off, nah, where the hell you been? LOL second welcome back third how have you been mentally since we last saw you overall mentally and physically hi I feel like I spoke about half of this already but I never spoke about my like how I am physically and physically you guys I I'm doing good like I done gained a little bit of weight you know we we we're gonna celebrate it because tomorrow I can be gone that's just how my my body is set up I can gain a little weight and I can lose it tomorrow but Physically, I am doing good. I am back in the gym, working on my consistency, and um, it's, it's doing good. Any advice on starting content on YouTube? I love editing videos, but don't know what's needed to start. I love when people ask me about YouTube things as if I'm this perfect person, ex like expert T, and I love that y'all come to me for these questions and that you look at me in that type of light like the light that y'all look at me when it comes to youtube it be like this light is is it really ain't hitting no shit but it's, it's lighting right and so with that being said like y'all when, when if you're starting youtube when it comes to content do what you want to do do what you enjoy if you only get 15 views okay you ain't get you ain't get zero it's more than one is more than 10 you know what i mean like and self-promotion is the best promotion promote yourself go out and about and socialize come on now you just gotta you just gotta do it you just gotta do it and apply yourself like it i will never sit here and be like okay so if you want to do youtube you need to do mukbangs for the first week the second week you need to go out there and do pranks because that's not what that is at all just do what you enjoy doing if all you enjoy doing is eating then record yourself eating if all you like to do is ramble then get on the camera and ramble make it make sense but ramble if you like to go hike and walk and work out and whatever just record what you like to do like it's got to be natural you know what i mean it can't because first of all people gonna see 
people see right some people see right through you so if it seems forced and then if it don't seem genuine like you nervous you having a hard time or you copping somebody else's swag it's, it's gonna come you know what i mean so do what you enjoy doing what makes you happy are you at a good point in life if so why or why or why not if i'm not at this point I do feel like I, I'm in a good I'm in a good place. All because of I'm making sure that I take care of me a little more than what I have felt like I've ever done in a while, like in a long time. Last year, after the breakup, I was in a really like I didn't even notice myself. I wasn't prepared for that. Like I felt like that breakup was so unexpected. I was really like at the climax of my relationship and you know what had happened was just it was just out of the freaking blue like i didn't expect it and you know i'm fighting for it and i don't feel like the other person was fighting back and it was just like you know i just felt like really lost and alone and very fucking sad i don't try to fight it i don't try to fight myself and fight what i feel i allow myself to feel what i'm feeling i allow myself to cry and I journal how I feel and I journal how my day is. Like some days are good y'all and some days are bad. I really like literally a few days ago I'm at work and it was only me at like in my in my section. And for some reason like my emotions just really took over me at work and I'm at work and I'm crying and I'm taking the I'm like wiping my eyes answering the phone to help somebody out here in the world that's been in a car accident or whatever the case may be like you know what i mean so yeah but overall i can say that i'm in a, i'm in a good i'm in a good point like i do feel like you know i'm just taking care of myself in any way that i can right um are you still doing your workout video in reaction so reactions i do want to gradually bring back um i actually have been sitting on the couch for like maybe two hours thinking like, you know, I could be doing content right now, but you know, my my momentum and my, my energy wasn't there. So I do want to eventually bring back the reaction videos. I want to use that green screen that's been in my room for almost two years and I've never used it. I really need to teach myself how I'm supposed to use that green screen. So yeah, you got some insight on that. Drop the links in the comment section. Are you happy in this season in your life? I am content i'm content i'm not gonna say like like i'm not sad i'm not mad am i 100 percent happy hell no like i gotta stand on what i stand on are you ready for marriage no because who am i marrying no <laughs> i don't even feel like going deep into it no texas meet and greet you know what stay tuned <laughs> my question is how can i help to support your channel do you have a cash app you know a closed mouth don't get fed and i'ma just i'ma just leave that there but no you guys really like honestly coming to my channel watching my video making sure that you like the video putting your comments down below sharing my content and getting someone new to subscribe to my channel is more than enough support that that i can ask for even when you guys just come to my um social media platforms and dm me or you know comment on anything just like to reach out to me and i that's more support than i can ask for how tall am i if i could just round it off five three i'm a good five three what is my zodiac sign aquarius come on now and i'm gonna i'm a january aquarius it's a difference them february aquariuses and them january aquarius aquarius are two different Aquariuses. We are Aquarius, but we not. But we just different Aquarius. You know what I mean? But get you a January Aquarius for sure. And my homeboy from um, we used to work together at Amazon and FedEx. His ass, and this this gonna wrap it up right here. Why my head so big in in the picture? First of all, in this picture right here, my head is not big. The camera was just cameraing. Okay. All right, y'all, so that's gonna wrap up all of the questions. I definitely appreciate everyone who did, you know, uh, um, participate. And if I didn't answer your question specifically, it's probably because I've already hit it in a question that was asked before yours. But I hope that I, you know, gave you some valid answers to your questions. Hope that I don't leave you, you know, on the cliff just wondering like, okay, Jay, I'm still confused. 
hope that you know that just sums it up and we're just right we're all here you know what i mean nobody's left behind we're all here we all understand the assignment all right i love you guys forever and always until the next video i'm signing out peace get the fuck up out the way success is all up on my mind nah i ain't conceited i'm a different breed it catch you slipping best belief i don't need no reason i'ma cut the ties ho turn your wife to my hoe yeah i pop a lot of shit but i swear it ain't no typo you smoking on that cat piss i smoke a lot of gas bitch just focus on you baby girl <laughs> j vibes you know the vibes you know the fuck going on and i'm out this bitch